Civic. All right, um, looks like it's about the right size. Okay, so this is um, this is gonna be a stream and a YouTube video, which is why the introduction is kind of weird. Uh, today is Monday. It's the last day for sale to TwitchCon. Uh, but besides that, I was going to go over how I'm doing all the modding I've been doing recently with World of Warships. Uh, most of the modding has been model replacement and uh, skin replacement. So we're going to go all ahead and look at what we're starting off with. Uh, one of my projects have been taking the aircraft, replacing them all with the uh, 1942 variants. So these are all 1942 models. Um, this, for example, the fighters are the A6M5s, and they're not available as normal tech tree. So you go to the modules, you can see it goes from A5M2 to A6M2, and then it just skips over A6M5. So that's a model that's available in the files, but not actually in the game. So you can see right here we have A6M5s, and that's part of a mod kit. That's fine. You can get that from the forums. I wanted to go ahead and fix this. So these are obviously not the original camos for the A6M5s. The A6M5 has a green and yellow camo. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can set that up. Um, but basically these are the camos, or the initial try of the Ace Combat 5 Rosby Squadron camos. So it's supposed to be an all black with maybe a few red highlights uh, playing. I'm going to do some changes to it to make it more uh, realistic looking. Because it, if you look at the tires, for example, don't look right. Hey, I'm one. Uh, tires don't look right, and I'm also going to go over how to basically get everything to work properly. Uh, channel director here. Uh, go ahead and delete the plane textures, and you will see what it looks like without any textures. So these are the default. Well, hopefully, it'll clear up. Let me let it load the new files. Hopefully it updated. You don't have to restart the game. These are default textures. You can see it's like green and red and yellow. Not not perfect, but you know, not bad. So you can see the windows are a little blue tinted. My original version just replaced everything with black. So even the green wave balls were black. Everything was black. I'm going to modify it a bit to just give it a more of a realistic feel. So then the plane will be black, but the windows will still be blue. Stuff like that. You see this little flap here? is dark green as well. I'm going to try and get rid of it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and switch to Photoshop and grab some stuff. Okay, so Photoshop is open. Um, basically, uh, when you do uh, modding stuff, you need to put everything in the res mods folder. So in this case, we're just doing the A6M5 textures. So there's going to be three texture files, um, A, M, G, and N. In this case, you only need the A. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. Load it. You need a DDS reader. Once you have that, pretty simple. It's uh, oh, I have to add that. Ugh. I have to add that additional layer. Let's see. Let's just do monitor capture. Turn off Photoshop. Subregion. Select region. Monitor two. Select region. Okay, that's better. Um, and this is basically the A5 or A6M2's model. And we obviously need to put in some some tail fin stuff. But for the most part, you can see right here, these are the tails and these are the textures. Uh, the original thing I did was I basically replaced it all with black. But I obviously didn't go so well. Uh, so in, in this case, we're going to redo it with a bit more finesse. So you can see right here there's these yellow strips and like a lot of like use like that's like you know dust, there's plane kills here. We're not going to keep most of that. We're actually going to replace the colors. We are going to keep some of the stuff that's more vital for what the plane is. Uh, like here I think this is like what the airplane's internal wings look like. Stuff like that. Uh, this is obviously the engine. This is obviously the cockpit. We're going to go ahead and try and slowly bring this towards completion. Uh, if we look at the, the fighters here, looks like they have already red and 
orange tipped or red and yellow tipped. Um, red and yellow tipped propellers. So that's right there. I guess it's just multiplied three times. We're going to go ahead and replace as much as we can to keep this cockpit over here and uh, basically put on the, uh, the insignia. So we're going to copy this layer and paste it in. And we're going to take the background. The background is going to be what we're keeping. And this is what we're going to use as the flat color. So flat color for obviously a black plane is going to be pure black. And that's done. And obviously you can't see anything because underneath the, the template layer. The template layer is going to be converted to a layer mask. So for those of you who haven't used layer mask before, basically it allows you to say anything you don't want to see, you can just color out. So I want to keep, keep the cockpit and I guess the propeller stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and move this and this and all this stuff over here and keep the, keep the cockpit going. Actually, the first thing I want to do before I do that is um, remove all the color because we're obviously using a black and white plane. So there we go. Remove all the color. Cockpit we're keeping, but all the insignia and the wing stuff we're moving and just letting the texture stay there. Uh, the wings, we're obviously not going to put anything on the wings. We want to keep keep an eye on this uh, the tail fins here because we're going to have to put the insignia on it twice the wings are gone pretty easy tail fins are also going to be black um, we're going to go ahead and basically make most of this this dark color not have to worry about the shadows or anything like that and I mean it's just, this is going to just be a, a mostly black plane as it is and we're going to save this as a PSD just so we have the layers and we're going to flatten the image and we're going to take this and open the uh, the DDS file again, load it just paste it in, flatten this image and save this as the original texture file and basically the default one is just one bit alpha you can go ahead and save that it'll take a few seconds to process and we should be able to see our initial changes here this here you has appeared, and let's go look at the fighter and see if the texture is loaded. So you can see that we already have the black plane loaded, but you can see like right here, or like right here, there's like remnants of the texture, which we thought we removed, but there's a second layer. So you can see here, like you can see the meatballs on the wings that normally would've been there, but this is basically the, the full texture replacement with the wings being kept. Uh, looks like some of the propellers aren't kept. There's this weird scratch here as well that we have to look at. But for the most part, it is, as advertised, a black plane with decent reflections now. It's a little bright for me, actually. Um, but the nose cone is black. Let's go back to Photoshop. Oh, I forgot to turn it off. There you go. Uh, so you can see there's these roundels, these little shadows that looks like it's been painted over because of how the... Uh, the lighting is handling the reflections. You can see like the roundels on the wings a bit. Yeah, like right here. It looks really weird. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that. Um, we're gonna go back to this layer, undo our merging, and we're actually going to look at what we we're doing originally. Let me open up the Photoshop tab again. So we know this is the propeller right here, this area. So we're gonna go ahead and switch to this and make it visible again and just not draw on it apparently. Oh. There we go. Draw on this and let's see how it looks. So we can see there's a little yellow band there. Um, I'm fine with this red really, but I'm not fine with the yellow. I'm gonna take this red Take this red and go ahead and draw over, draw over it. No? Oh. Shazbot. Did I do it wrong again? Yeah, I think I did something wrong. It should be. Yeah, it should have been white. Go ahead and unmask. 
task here. What's going on here? Uh, I don't see anything. What's going on? I think I did something horribly wrong. Alright, so we're here. Oh, that's why. It looks like it's been erased. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and refix this. So we're going to take this glare mask, add it to here. This is obviously fixing stuff. same thing here with the layer mask. Man, can't believe I messed up. <laughs> Something went horribly wrong. Let's try it again. That's... Oh. There we go. We're going to go ahead and do that again. Hooray. It's not actually that bad. I don't know quite what happened, but it's, it's very recoverable. You can see there's uh, those wingtips there we might also want to, to work with. I'm going to clean this up. I don't know what these are, but these look like they're parts of something. Um, we can actually load up the... Yeah, I don't know what that is. I'm going to go ahead and clean off that red. The meatballs we're obviously not using. We'll clean that off. We're going to keep that propeller this time. It's probably also part of the propeller cone. And after this, I'll do the desaturation thing again, just so everyone's clear. That's a little messy. Okay. So we have now that base color again. And I guess what I want to do also is, excuse me for the, uh, for the wheel covers, I want them to at least be black on the outside. The wheels can stay the same color, but these should be black. And we'll go ahead and delete this layer because it's incorrect. Save this. Remove colors from this layer. Ah, no, remove colors from this bottom part. We want to keep that propeller going because we want that red color. So we can actually just select that and desaturate that portion. And then now we can fix this. This is good. Take this. We want to take that. Come on. You can do it. What is going on? It's not working. Hello? Something wrong with my brushes. Oh, dang it! That's why. That that is intended. I didn't select the correct layer. Uh, there we go. Swap that out. A little too messy. Swap that out. Take this. Swap out that. Now it's just orange and a very nice burgundy. Um, we can load up this color again. We're gonna make this a little darker. Um, Use legacy just to crank it down like that. Okay, and we're gonna flatten the image again. Gonna, yeah, flatten image. Save that. Go ahead and undo the flat and flatten this one for the actual PSD and save it. Generate the DDS. This a few seconds, and let's see how it looks now for at least the, the new colors and the tips. The fighters, hopefully they're, yeah, they are. Yeah, you can see the, the front propellers are now red tipped. At least one of them is. I think actually that, that looks nice, having just the single propeller with red tip and then all the other two don't have it. Um, you also see the window here 
is a lot brighter than the, the cockpit. It's like got this yellow tint on it from the sun versus the plane itself having this darker color on it. Uh, the next thing we need to do is add the roundels, or not the roundels, the insignia. I'm going to go ahead and grab that really quick. We're going to look for the Rosgris emblem, I guess. we will call it emblem in there. Let's see if we can get a nice... PS or not a PSD, a nice PNG of it. Da, 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 da. There we go. I'm gonna go to back of our Photoshop. Let me turn that back on. This is a really nice high quality PNG. And we're going to go ahead and go back here. Let's look at how it looks, where it is. So we can see the 0309 want to fit on that, that tail. This is really big. We're going to free transform it down. We're also going to make it a little darker because it's a little like bright compared to the rest of the plane. So shrunk down, you can't read the text obviously, but about to be the right size. I'm apply that. I'm going to duplicate it to the other side. Obviously readable here as well. Uh, you can see the tail's a little lower. I want to line this up, let's see, so that this is lined up with 09's top. So in this case we've got a 09 over here. So we can raise this up to about there. That looks about right, and we're going to take these two and we're going to merge them. And brightness contrast, we're going to tab it down a bit to give that that rich burgundy color that we're looking for. Increase the or no, increase the contrast a bit as well. That pure color, okay. So our final model, once we move this correct layer, looks slightly better. Uh, we're going to go ahead and see if we need anything else on the plane to be visible. Most of the cases, the guns, we don't really care about. I don't think anyone's going to see the guns or notice too much. So I think this looks right. Oh, uh, let me actually look at this one more time. Uh, the, f the side of the plane is probably over here. I'm going to try something special with it this time as well. Um, a new layer. We know that this is where the cockpit goes, it looks like. I'm going to try using a little stipple here to try and simulate text. So we're going to do like take a uh, nice light color, um, blah, 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 raspberries, blaze, eh. blaze, eh. Like commander, like captain, blah, 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 pate, doesn't matter what it is. We're gonna free transform and obviously shrink that down to be like the uh, the nameplates that most modern aircraft have. It's gonna be really tiny, and we'll take that, apply, see how it looks. Flatten this image, take it over to the DDS, save, or flatten this image and save. And this is just the texture, so the texture is obviously it doesn't look right. But it's important to note that the button mapping, which I think is in the end file, is what determines what it looks like. So even without any of the like the uh, defining features, it should look proper. We're going to reload it and look at it. So might have missed something. Did we finish saving. Don't see a logo. Reload it again. See if it's been updated. Yeah, you can see the 
emblem there. Let's see if we can get to the other side. Here we go. The other side of the aircraft. You can see barely a bit of text right where the uh, the cockpit is that shows the pilot. And so that that looks pretty pretty good. Look at the propellers. This one's got a red streak on it. Stuff like that. It's got all the hints of Rosgreaves without you know being completely Rosgreaves. Let's go to the other side. Original camera again. You can see like from this angle, it looks pretty pretty decent. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna finalize the the color reflection mapping. So what we need to do is go to the same folder where we have this. Core ships, res mods. It's pretty deep in their content. Gameplay, Japan, aircraft, fighter textures and I believe it's the MG file and this will look really weird this is this obviously looks like I don't know someone had drugs and made it the design but it actually makes sense so when you go to the channels you can see all these different things these are all the channels for reflections of the aircraft so in this case you can see this is a the green reflection map the red reflection map and the blue reflection map nothing is reflected on blue um, so you can see the red reflection map here has this the roundels here, and I guess the green one has the. I don't know where the 0309 is. Oh, the red one has it. So we're going to take the green reflection map, or we're going to copy it over to red, and just replace it entirely and see how it looks. So this obviously looks a lot darker now. Um, you can see that this, this tail fin seems a lot darker as well. So what we're going to try and do is just take this color. Turn off the RGB and just oh, there you go. Take off this and take a paint bucket and that color. Make ten percent contiguous. Place that. Place that. Uh, and just see how it looks. Go ahead and save this. This is the reflection pattern. So you can see that there's no longer the any sort of text on here, no roundels. Let it reload. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting to turn off that layer. Yeah, let's go look at the planes really quick. So you can see the. Ref it's not completely replaced. Actually, let me check that channel thing again. Oh yeah, there's uh, another one in green I forgot to fix. So in green we have to do the same thing. Um, monitor. Okay. Uh, oops. We take the color from the green panel. Fill, fill it in. This one. Let's save that again. Let's see how it looks. So in this case, this reflects everything but the blue spectrum. It absorbs all the blue which gives off that golden feel for the cockpit. So the tail should be one color now, if this worked. So yeah, the tail is no longer really bright all of a sudden. And the emblem looks decent. I feel like the plane doesn't look dark enough, basically, now. You can see that the, the cockpit isn't as reflective as before, but it's still quite shiny compared to everything else. Um, I'm probably just going to try and tweak the, the uh, colors again. So we're going to go back in here, look at these these color maps. This is the red color map. I'm just going to adjust the brightness and then just make it darker. And we'll take that and duplicate to the green one. Go ahead and save all the layers and see if what happens. So basically, if it's all white, it's super reflective. It, it turns into a mirror. If it's black, it doesn't reflect at all. So it becomes a darker color when the sun's shining on it. So here we go, fighters. They have this much darker, you know, painted color. This actually looks cell shaded. I think I went a little too far. You can see the cockpit looks like it's it's not right. So we're gonna undo that really quick. Um, yeah, this this looks like it's really cartooned out. 
too flat. So I think we're just going to undo it and save. And think about that one more time. We might have to not just do a, a contrast tweak or a contrast tweak where we slightly decrease the contrast instead of going all the way out. So when we go back, hopefully it's been updated. The fighters should now look, yeah, they're, they're a little shiny again. So this, this looks like a sort of an artificial paint job again. So we went too far. This actually might be right because like from this angle, they're really, really uh, dark. Uh, we want to work on this nose cone though. This nose cone I think is this part looks different. It looks like it's not, yeah, it's got that cell shading compared to the rest of them. Um, we're going to take the, the flat color and just go ahead and see if this nose cone fixes itself like that on these two. And what we're going to do with this actual spot here, let's see if I can select it all. Not contagious. Take a dodge tool, and for the highlights, for the midtones, just brush the brush it up like that, and like that. We'll see how it looks. Ah, just didn't tell me you couldn't see it. So basically, I just brush it up and then change the brightness. Let's see how it looks. Uh, it's always exciting to see what happens. Boost was loaded. Fighters. So those cockpits are really shiny now. And the nose cone it matches a little better. I don't know where the actual full nose cone is. But I think that that's a lot closer to the Ros grease we're looking where you can see the tires look real. There's that signature red stripe. And this is basically like complete. I have to check that little stripe here. There's a weird stripe here. Right here. So right here, it looks like it, they saw uh, they did some battle damage, which, which looks cool. But then when you look at the reflection, it's not so great. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a swabby brush, swab it out. That's the only thing that looks really weird because it affects the, the reflection so much. I'm going to save this. No, I didn't show the swabby brush. There was a... Well, once this is saved, I'm going to do it. Right here, this little pattern, I just went ahead and colored over it and replaced it with the flat gray. So you can see right here, before I switch the model off, there's like this weird streak like it's taking battle damage or something scratched it. If you want to do a flat color, you just go to the reflection material and just remove it and there should be no more scratch and it should look really clean. So this is a really clean version of the uh, the Rosbury Squadron Fighters. Uh, what we can do is we can go out to a training battle and see how it looks. Um, I always think that, let's just go ahead and create it on. Islands of Ice, I guess, and just throw a bot in there and just see how it looks overall. Let's turn off the motor capture. And, I mean, Photoshop is all done now, so we're going to test it out, get a quick battle in, see how it looks. So, I mean, that was like maybe like half an hour of work to get a decent camo setting. And I mean, if you just want like black planes or red planes, pretty easy. Just replace the color overall. So now we have these fighters. Battle starts. Let's uh, go in here. I like the the cockpits being super reflective. It gives off that really like clean fighter appearance. Like all this is blue. 
go ahead and launch him and see how it looks. Hey, Chaco. How you doing? Give me a few minutes, I can give you some food, okay? Group two, maintaining present course. All right, let's go switch over. Turn off the camera. I mean, that that looks as close as we can get. Some sort of Group two, standing by for instructions. Over. Very flat-colored plane. It's got the nice reflections on it. Reflects the sky well. You can see the uh, the emblem very clearly. I mean, as far as things go, it, it looks like basically someone took the uh, skin and brought it over from Ace Combat 5. I actually like this a lot. Obviously the the uh, rods paint a different color for the most part, but I even think they move, so it gives it that nice accent when they're flying through the air. Anyways, I think that's really, really it for this episode of Botting Mondays. I'm actually have to do some other stuff before I come back to stream, but just to have this um, this nice video of planes flying around in circles. Pretty simple. Uh, I probably will release this version of the skin for the last one because it gets everything right that I missed in the first one, like the cockpit not looking like it's made out of glass and stuff. Anyways, see you guys next time.